What is up, people? How y'all doing today? Welcome back to your, let's see what this is, 12th XHTML tutorial. I always go, let's see what this is, or what number is it? I probably should uh, just, you know, think about what number it is before I start talking, but, you know, uh, I didn't. So, anyways, on with the tutorial. In this tutorial, I said we're going to be talking a little more about tables, and I meant it because in this tutorial we're going to be learning about table headers. Now a header for your table is pretty much a title that you can put for each column. So if you just have a table with a bunch of data in it, people might be confused, be like are these addresses or are they phone numbers or are they names of people or street names? I need a title to tell me what each row means or excuse me what each column means. So in order to do that we need to create table headers. So in order to create table headers we first need a table. So let's go ahead and make a table with a border of one and put the ending table so we don't forget it later on. And inside our table let's just go ahead and make uh, three rows. So table row, table row, and let's go ahead and copy this. Actually, let's go ahead and indent this, make it easier to read, and copy this, and paste, and paste. So now we have a table with three rows in it. Now let's go ahead and space out these rows. This is going to make it easier to read. And inside the first row, what we want to do is, let's say we want to make a web page of the girls that I think are awesome and beautiful seems like an appropriate topic so let's go ahead and add our first header at the top now in order to make a header it's TH this stands for table header and these are going to be the headers for your columns so anything that you put in a header is not going to be like a regular table data it's going to be bold and center so these are perfect for making the titles you're going to see later on how awesome they are so let's go ahead and make three of them um, we'll have three columns in this table we'll have the name of the girl and I'll write a movie that they played in I'll pick movie stars and write the person who they love right there so I'm gonna have their name a movie that they played in and someone that they love in the third column so let's go ahead and in our first row we'll make our first girl um, remember you need table data for this because this is just regular data information so let me go ahead and um, copy this so now we have three bits of data the first one is the name and the first girl that is awesome is Natalie Portman even though she's pretty right now best of luck Natalie and a movie that she played in Garden State if you guys never saw it I would highly recommend checking it out and the person that they love let's just go ahead and put Bucky because you know I'm pretty irresistible if I don't say myself so let's go ahead and take all this data copy it and put it into our next row but we can't just stress the fact how much Natalie Portman loves me because I mean we all know that so let's go ahead and pick a new girl and that would be Rachel McAdams and that's the girl who played in the notebook and uh, Mean Girls um she played I think Regina in Mean Girls don't ask me how I know that just uh, you know just let it slide and who she loves uh, yeah we'll just leave that Bucky for now so and go ahead and save that and refresh this and check it out the name this is your table header right now and you can see a table header is different cuz a it's centered all these are left justified and this is centered and also they're bold so they stand out so now when someone looks at this table they won't see just random information but they can see what each column means it's a lot easier to read and a lot easier to follow so yeah this actually looks like a pretty accurate table so um, I'm just gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna publish this and yeah we're good to go so anyways that's the basics of how you make a header for your table and also place it above table data and also some little insight into movie stars and who they love. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, go to my forum, thenewboston.com slash forum, and someone will answer them for you. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.